Thank you, boys and girls, for being so prayerful at the end of Mass so that we could remain in the presence of Jesus and understand that as Father Charlie is processing, that that is a time for us to be very quiet and still and to spend those last few moments in the true presence of Jesus. And now throughout the day, there will be people that will go and spend time in adoration. It's actually one of my most special places to spend time with Jesus because I feel overwhelmed when I sit in there in prayer. So it's such a beautiful opportunity for all of us to be a part of that. I want to um, share in the thank you to our fourth grade, to our musicians, to the teachers for the preparation of the mass. And fourth grade most especially, I'd like to thank you for how much you sang out today. It was such a beautiful gift to all of us and a true symbol of being good stewards um, and of the body that has been entrusted to you. There were some great words that Father Charlie used in the homily today. And as you all sang out and led us in that beautiful form of prayer, knowing that when you are singing, you are praying twice. As you sang and led us in that, you are being such great stewards of the body and the voice that God has entrusted to you. I sing out as often as I can because I figure God gave me this voice, I'm going to give it back to him. It may not always be pretty, but I sing out with all of my heart because it's such a gift that we have. So thank you for leading us in that. I was talking with a friend recently and I asked my friend, how would you like for people to see you? How do you want people to see you? Because I ask myself that question often. But today during the homily, I changed my question. Because as I listened to Father Charlie, I realized I was asking the wrong question. Rather than how do I want others to see me, I should be asking how do I want God to see me? Because as I heard Father Charlie talking today, he used a great word, entrust. We have been entrusted with many gifts. We've been entrusted with many blessings. And I often think about how others might be seeing me and then it sometimes makes me forget that it matters the most how God sees me. So as you all are singing out today, that is a gift that you are giving back to God. As all of you came out to share with me in the wonderful weekend of Community Fest, that was being a good steward of the blessing of time that you are giving to someone else. When I walk around campus and I see people helping one another, when I see teachers lending an extra helping hand in the afternoon to students or during the day when they're struggling with something, when I see you all helping each other, when I see you offering a smile, sometimes it's as simple as that, then we are being good stewards of what God has entrusted to us. When we are good stewards, when we take good care of our bodies, of our school, when we clean up after ourselves in the cafeteria, we are taking care of the things that God has given to us. And I think sometimes we think that it's so big that it takes the big things when it really just takes the little things. And when we do those little things and we are being true to God, then others will see us that way as well. So boys and girls and parents and teachers, all of us, as we leave today, let us think about how we are using all of the gifts, all of the talents, all of the blessings that God has given us. And instead of looking at everyone else, look at ourselves and ask, am I being a good steward? Am I doing a good job with all that God has given me? And at the end of the day, that means that we are all helping to build the kingdom of God if we are doing so. God bless all of you for a wonderful day today and a blessed week ahead.